education video for you. Today we are going to talk about five reasons why not to study MBA in India. Today's topic is about MBA in India or abroad, but precisely we are going to talk about five reasons why not to do an MBA in India. Well, there are close to 2 lakh people who take CAT every year. There are close to 300,000, 3 lakh people who fly abroad every year. Not necessarily for MBA, but a lot of people fly abroad for their business aspirations as well. This video is not going to criticize the education system in India or praise the uh, abroad system. We are only going to talk about five reasons why not to do an MBA in India. Despite knowing the fact that India is a fantastic place to study, we have five institutions, five I, four IIMs and one SPGM in top 100 MIM programs as per Financial Times. Yet, uh, let's continue with the tradition of just following what we are going to talk about today. So the first thing, first reason why you should not be studying MBA in India is competition. Now you know, close to 200,000 people take CAT every year, which is uh, uh, roughly uh, having a ratio of 1 is 200 because the receipts are quite less, far less than 10,000 and the number of students who take this examination are more than 2 lakh. So, and obviously we do have categories, the privileges in India. For example, uh, we have a general category cutoff, then we have other category cutoffs as well. So competition is really a problem in India. I know a lot of people, despite scoring 98 or 99 in CAT, they do not make it to top schools in India and they have to go to either uh, the a category schools or B category schools, sometimes mediocre schools. So that's a problem. The second reason why you should not be doing an MBA in India is options, lack of options. In India, if you want to study an MBA, obviously the program, the flagship program is called MBA. There are different nomenclatures. You have PGDM, PGPM, uh, PGCM, but technically it's an MBA, right? It's a general management program. In India, we still don't have tons of specializations that we have in Europe. So let me just give an example. Imagine somebody who walk, wants to work in finance, okay? Abroad, that person would have an option of MSc Finance, MSc Corporate Finance, uh, specialization in sustainable finance, uh, specialization in investment banking. But in India, the person would only have an option of going for MBA and choosing elective as finance. So that is a problem. Uh, number three, placements, right? Uh, most people would think that it's not a problem, but I still think that it is a problem because in India, we don't really have law of minimum wages for master's graduates. Uh, for example, if you go into a top school, let's consider ISB Hyderabad. Uh, they have close to 1,000 students studying at any point in time in their campuses. Uh, their average package is around 20, 22 lakhs, but nobody talks about the lowest package. So if you look at the top IMs in India, the average package is 20 to 22, but nobody's talking about lowest package and lowest package could be as low as 8 to 10 lakhs as well. So if you're investing 30 lakhs, 35 lakhs in your packages, uh, 7 or 8 or maybe 10 in certain cases, that brings to my next point, which is ROI, return on investment. Now, return on investment is not really great in India because if you're investing 30 lakhs, the, the programs are really expensive at top schools. If you talk about ISB, the fees is around 37 lakhs and I'm only talking about tuition fees. So if you're investing 37 lakhs, 38 lakhs and the package is around 20, 22, which is still the average package, you still would be decently happy with that uh, package. But what about people who get 13 lakhs or 12 lakhs CTC, right? The take home would be uh, probably lesser than what their previous salary was before the MBA. So that is a problem. Uh, so these are the five major reasons I believe why one should not do an MBA in India, but there would be tons of other reasons why you should be studying an MBA in India. So again, uh, this video is not to criticize Indian education system, Indian business schools, uh, Indian job scenario, but again, just to give you an idea, what are the five reasons why you might be considering abroad options. Once again, thank you so much. If you want to see more videos, please log on to advisory.in. Uh, if you have any questions, please post them in comment section below. If you have somebody who's interested in MBA in India or abroad, uh, tag them below or probably share the video with them. Uh, thank you so much once again for your interest. Take care of yourself. Take care of your families. Keep dreaming high. Keep doing big. Jai.